Brandon Dalbo and I'm Year 12 at CRC Sydney and uh, for my systems engineering project for 2015 I built a tennis ball launcher, autonomous tennis ball launcher and a tennis ball uh, collector. Um, and the tennis ball launcher, it's, you flick a switch and it rotates a gear and on the gear is a rack and pinion and it pulls it up and then you go backwards from reverse polarities it goes back. This changes the uh, different angles at which uh, it shoots tennis balls at for uh, when you're playing tennis. As I'm a tennis player, um, I need something that can shoot perfect ball to me every time. And um, you know, it takes a lot of time to pick up tennis balls, so that's why I have the uh, tennis ball uh, collector here. Um, on the tennis ball collector, it's got bumper switches, so if it hits a wall, it will reverse out and turn around. There is also limit switches on the back, so if it is in a corner and it hit it, it would do the same effect as the bumper switches. Uh, inside, there is a light uh, laser, laser beam sensor kit, so once this is full with tennis balls, or it's covered for a certain amount of time between the two beams, it will automatically stop uh, by itself so you know when it's full, and then you can remove the basket, get the tennis balls, put them back in the top, and it will shoot them out. Um, this here, this is what will uh, feed it automatically into the tube tubing that will go into the wheels. So every three seconds or so, it will it will um, drop one tennis ball in to be shot out. And uh, this all moves on the downwards, so when this comes, this all needs to move with it. Um, I have two, four scooter wheels, uh, two on each uh, motor, big motors, and um, I had to make my own uh, like bushes for them to sit on there. And they are, they are connected to a 12 volt car battery, which with a, a variable resistor to um, change the different speeds that you want the ball to be shot at and how far, you know, and stuff like that. And, uh, yeah. Uh, now I'm going to demonstrate my tennis ball launcher shooting the balls and then afterwards the uh, tennis ball put uh, picking up the balls. Um, the paddle will rotate and as it, as it goes over the ball, the ball will come up a ramp and go into the bucket and uh, yeah, it will count um, every time to the Arduino and it will let me know when it is full or when it um, has been crossed for a certain amount of time so I can Um, it counted about 30, 30 from the start. Or, yeah, um, so this is my tennis ball collector. Once um, the tennis ball launcher is shot out with the tennis balls, I can turn this one on and 
going by itself, you know, the tennis court. You will know when it's bumped into something from the beam sensors and wind switches, so you don't even have to worry about it. Um, once it is full, it'll let you know by shutting off by itself. So then, um, you know, once it's full, you can empty it, put it back in the launcher, and let it go out on the way again. See, um, the tennis balls uh, have crossed the laser beam sensor. It counts to about 30. I can change the timing on that. But once it counted to 30, it stopped by itself, so I knew when it was uh, full and it's not going to overflow or anything to cause problems. And then now I can put these tennis balls back in the tennis ball launcher. So now I'll demonstrate the uh, bumper switches and wood switches on the uh, robot for when it uh, bangs into, say, a wall or something on its journey of picking up the tennis balls. So, so I'm going to hit it, reverse, turn, and uh, keep going on its way. Obviously there was something in its way, so it wasn't counting properly, so it stopped. Uh, that's a problem.